Don't you just love the whole wide world and everyone in it? God does truly, absolutely, and unconditionally. And the more we become like God, the more we will love the world and everyone in it. A blessed Wednesday, my dear friends. This is Vani Ocampo. Welcome to Pathways of Hope. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whoever believes in Him should not perish but have eternal life. John 3.16 This probably is the most popular passage in the scripture, the most loved and the most memorized to. This is the good news. John 3.16 is the gospel that we preach. No matter who you are and no matter what you have done, no matter what your color are, no matter where you are from, whether you are rich or poor, powerful or weak, God loves you. Even if you deny that He exists, or worse, deny that He loves you, He loves you still. I don't say your beliefs and your actions don't matter, but I do say that God loves you completely and perfectly. There is nothing you can do to diminish God's love for you. His love for us is not diminished even slightly by our lack of love for Him or even for others, all of whom He loves every bit as much as He loves you and me. His love is total and all-consuming. In John 3, 17, Jesus said, For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through Him. My dear friends, on this feast of the exaltation of the Holy Cross, I invite you to reflect on God's love for you. It is a self-sacrificial kind of love. Who do we love with this love? For whom do we lay down our life? For our children? For our spouses? Our friends? Let us also reflect on this beautiful gift that Jesus has for mankind. He literally gave his life for you and me. Do we appreciate this gift or do, do we simply take it for granted? As you ponder on these questions, I pray that you may experience Jesus in a personal and intimate way. Thank you for listening. If you have been blessed by this short reflection, please click the share button so that many would know how they are loved unconditionally by our loving and living God. God bless you.